the orchestra according to stock photos that I found on Google. The first tuba player looks like he's straight out of a horror movie. The dark circles around the eyes and the way he's holding the tuba, I'm sure he won't be able to press the keys to make any proper music. This guy actually has much worse posture. He's holding it like a bazooka, like he's in World War Three or something. He can't even reach the mouthpiece. This lady seems to be protecting her tuba from something. I don't know if it's from bullies in school, or maybe it's from this guy who likes to wear tubas as hats. What's the point? This image also is slightly sacrilegious. Say no to instrument violence. This is not good. This guy makes tuba playing seem extremely cool. He's playing it almost with the attitude of a saxophone player and, I, and I'm sure you will be playing jazz notes out of that instrument. Searching for tuba players can also be misleading. The title of this picture is Boy Playing Tuba While Sitting at Home. The sad part about this is that you can order prints of this image, even though it's not true. And the XL size, the one that I selected for the preview, costs 269 euros. This is just ridiculous. The first oboe player seems like she's in pain. I don't know why it seems like she's going through torture trying to play the music. I seem to find a lot of stock images where people are playing the oboe up in the air, like they are standing outside of a king's castle playing some notes before some important announcement. This posture is very strange. This kid is playing a toy version. I'm not sure what it would sound like if you actually try and make music out of it. Again with the instrument violence. Please don't hold your instrument like this. This girl actually seems to have good posture. I'm just not sure if the instrument is the right way around. Looking at the mouthpiece, I can't figure out if it should go flat side on the bottom with the tilt at the top or the other way around. I can't find anything on Google either. Maybe someone that plays um, oboe can let me know. Very misleading image from Google. Oboe. Very simple title, except that's not an oboe, it's a saxophone. This one also marked as an oboe, high resolution stock image. Uh, that is not an oboe, that is a bassoon. The first one I don't understand. She's pressing the buttons on the trumpet expecting to hear something. I'm not sure what it is that she's trying to achieve. Obviously it didn't work for her, so she starts yelling down the trumpet. Again with the violence. Why do people like the violence so much? Please don't handle instruments like this. Misleading images. This is a Santa girl with a big trumpet. Uh, I'm sorry, that's not a trumpet. And again, blowing your own trumpet. This is not a trumpet. Same as the little boy. I think this is called a bugle. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Woman playing trumpet. If you're going to play a trumpet like that, first of all, no sound is going to come out. Um, and why are you holding it with one hand? The hand posture of this first stock image was a bit strange to me. I'm not a professional player at all. I play keyboard recreationally. But I try and keep my hands and my arms at the same level. I'm not sure if you should be curving it like this so the thumbs actually touch the front side of the piano. Any piano players out there can maybe tell me if this is correct hand posture. And I don't know why the little finger has to be in the air like that either. This one, I think she gave up on life. The title is Practicing Playing Piano. If you are toggling the keys with one finger lying with your head on the keys, then I don't think the practice is going very well. For this image, they put the title Woman Relaxing Head on Piano. I don't think it is someone relaxing on a piano. I think it's actually someone that's trying to tune the piano, as the whole piano seems to be open and the key is pressed lightly. So most likely she's tuning the keys as she's going along. This one came up as a stock illustration, not necessarily a stock photo. I just found the fingers very sacrilegious in this one. I don't think you're meant to be playing the same key with three fingers at a time. And also, I don't think there's any music where you play adjacent keys.
keys all at the same time. I don't know what that would even sound like. This piano is very strange. Why would you print sheet music on your piano keys? I don't think I would like that at all. It would confuse me no end. Oh my goodness, this first image. I don't even know what to say. Why? What is this? And if you're going to step away, suddenly the whole harp is going to fall over. This guy is handling his harp like a rock star. I wonder what it is that he'll be playing on that one. This lady is sitting behind the harp like she's in jail, peeping through the bars for someone to come and save her. I expect that the harp is probably one of the most expensive instruments in the orchestra. I'm not sure why anyone would take a harp and actually put it outside in the dirt just to try and take a nice photo of it. This, I have no idea what it is. It looks like a harp, but it only has, what's it, approximately 10 strings. If anyone knows what this is, please let me know in the comments. Again with the instrument abuse. Keeping a harp on a beach and you can see that the sand is wet to try and play it outside. Why would you do that? It can definitely not be good for the wood. Most of the stock images that I found for cello playing is all about bad posture. One after the other. People are sitting in very strange positions and most of them are playing the fingerboard and not the actual strings near the bridge. And this kid with the bow in his mouth. Please don't do that. That bow must be the most disgusting thing on earth. It must be so full of germs. Even if you wipe it down every time after playing, I don't think it's a very healthy thing to be doing. I love this girl's hair blowing in the wind, but again she's playing the fingerboard. And again with the instrument violence, what is it that you are intending to do with that cello? Instead of breaking it, give it to someone that would like to play it. Further down I found the same guy again playing the cello, but he's playing it like a violin and also playing it on the fingerboard. Oh my goodness. This one actually makes the cello look extremely cool, but I'm sure if you hold it like that, you will not be able to play it. The bow is sideways, and there's nothing that's actually holding the cello up. So there will be no pressure for you to actually make a sound when you move the bow across the strings. The last one, again with the bad posture. Everything about this picture seems wrong to me. The way that she's holding the bow, the place where she's playing, right up top on the fingerboard. And the fingerboard seems very strange, very lifted, very far away from the body of the cello. The first trombone player, I think, again, is thinking he's in World War Three or something, holding this like a machine gun. He's not even near the mouthpiece. I don't know if he thinks that this is a gun he's pointing at someone. And again with yelling down the instrument. What is this supposed to be doing? This is not a microphone. This girl has the mouthpiece in the right place. But her hand is in the wrong place. As far as I can see. She's holding on to the bar that actually moves up and down. But the same hand is also holding on to the mouthpiece. This next image is supposed to be of a woman playing trombone. Prepare your eyes for this one. What the hell? I don't know what this is supposed to be. First of all, it's not a trombone. And what is that coming out? Muddy water? I have no idea. I really don't understand the, the whole point of this image. Again, some misleading ones. Trombone stock photos. Sorry, not a trombone. This is a French horn. And the next one again. Music teacher with trombone. I think the clue that you should have had here is on the blackboard behind him. He actually wrote trumpet. And the most funkiest one of all of them. Dancing while playing the trombone. I'm sure some disaster happened after this. This is one of the first images that came up for bassoon. I don't know if this is a very safe way to handle the instruments. Again with the instrument violence, why would you hold all of them at once? Something is going to fall and break. Stock image of bassoon wall mural. This is not a bassoon, sorry. Again bassoon, this is not a bassoon.
This is one of the piccolo stock images that I found. Uh, mostly what I've seen in concerts or um, orchestra settings, the piccolo is a much shorter instrument. I don't know, someone that plays it or has have seen it in an orchestra can maybe let me know. Do you get long piccolos as well, not just the short ones? I don't know therefore if this is correct. This one, for sure I know, at least, is not a piccolo. This is a flute. And the last one, just to show that this is the piccolo that I'm used to. I don't know if that long one was actually a piccolo or, or a flute. For violin and viola, you get a lot of rubbish stock photos. This guy is pretending to be Robin Hood with the bow. The next lady is playing using gloves. I don't know how you would be able to do the fingering correctly, wearing gloves like that. And the gloves also seem to be two sizes too big for her. So I'm sure her hand movements cannot be very good. Some misleading ones again. Man playing viola. Uh, I'm sorry, that's not a viola. This one is from a collection called the 100 plus best viola photos. Again, sorry, not a viola. This gentleman seems to be in pain. Maybe because he's playing viola and he hates the sound. Or maybe he's pulling a face because he's playing the instrument on the wrong side. He's got a very strange bow as well and there seems to be a little marker in there that beginners would use so that they can stop before they reach the tip of the bow. Very bad image. This one is like Dorothy in the land of Oz. Playing on the wrong side, playing on the fingerboard, sacrilegious bow hold. The fingers won't be able to do anything in this photo, but at least she dressed nicely for the photo. And to close this one, another misleading one, woman playing viola. I don't think so. Timpani in orchestra, as I understand, you have multiple instruments and I doubt very much whether you would be hammering the timpani with both mallets at the same time. Usually it's one mallet at a time. This is of a portable timpani. Or it seems to be like in a marching band. I'm not sure if you have portable timpanis. I don't think so. I think this is just a normal marching band drum. But if I'm wrong, you guys can correct me. The last one, however, I know for sure is not a timpani. Again with the misleading images. The first image is definitely not a marimba. This is a xylophone. For the next stock image, we are expecting to see an Africa band marimba stock photo. And here it is. I'm missing a few things here. The Africa part and the band part. This seems to be one guy tuning the marimba. I found a lot of images also of this particular instrument called a marimba in the image searches. Actually, this is not a marimba. It is an African instrument called mbira. The first stock image actually seems correct. Holding the triangle by a string so that you don't touch the, the instrument itself and interfere with the sound and hit with the small metal mallet. This one seems completely wrong to me because he's holding the triangle in his hand. Surely the sound would not be good coming from that. This is a very nice triangle stock photo. Photo of person playing triangle instrument. This mysterious triangle instrument looks very much like a banjo to me. The last one, very cute girl. She's got two fingers through the little hoop at the top, but then she's got two fingers wrapped around the triangle as well. So again, she's going to mute the sound coming out of the instrument. Oh my goodness, flute. What would you like to see down the flute if you are looking at this? The other end of the flute anyways is closed off. There's nothing you will be able to see. For beginners learning flute, is this something that they do? I'm not sure. Resting the tip of the flute on your shoulder to try and keep it up. Let me know in the comments if this is a standard practice. This, however, is not a standard practice. Blowing down the closed end of a flute is going to do absolutely nothing. This little girl is blowing into the, the mouthpiece instead of over the mouthpiece. This girl has almost the right posture, but the hands are completely wrong. She won't be able to play any of the keys holding the flute like this. 
This image is supposed to be of a Chinese flute. I'm not sure if her mouth is in the right place. I, don't, I know nothing about a Chinese flute. Is the, maybe someone can let me know if the mouthpiece is actually located in the middle of the flute. I doubt it because half of the instrument would be useless then. And then again with the misleading images. Flute. I don't think so. This is a saxophone. A lot of the double bass images seem to show people playing on the fingerboard of the double bass. And a lot of strange combinations of how they are actually handling the instrument. A misleading one again. Someone playing double bass. Sorry, not a double bass. These two are playing together. I don't know how the sound will come out, especially seeing as though they are both pressing the strings at the same time. This guy is plucking the strings on the double bass, but he's got the bow resting through the bridge of the double bass. What the hell? A lady sitting down nicely behind the double bass, playing on the fingerboard. I don't know what kind of sound will come out of this. Please don't play cymbals like this, you will give yourself a concussion. This one seems to be almost correct. I don't know what this guy is trying to show us, just one cymbal. And then both of them are laughing about it. The best cymbal stock photo is this one where an old symbol was taken and turned into a hat. Why would you do that? <laughs> Playing snare drum seems to be a very cool thing when you are searching on the images. And it seems that you always have to cover your snare drum in some kind of a powder or water so that when you are playing it, it has this cool effect as soon as the sticks touch the drum. My knowledge of a conductor is that they use the right hand to keep the tempo of the music and they would use the left hand to show people the dynamics of the music. In other words, play louder, softer, faster, slower, etc. In a lot of the stock images, this is reversed, where the person in the stock photo is actually using the left hand to keep the beat and the right hand to show the people the tempo. This one wearing gloves. I don't know why a conductor would be wearing gloves. And why do they always show the conductors like they are about to fly off somewhere? Or as extreme nerds, pointing tiny little movements with the baton. I don't know what this girl heard as a joke when they took this photo, but it looks like she's enjoying herself. Not sure conductors would behave like this in front of an audience. And then you get the photos of the crazy conductors. I know there are some colorful conductors around, but none of them are actually quite crazy like this. And what is with the strange hair? I will leave you with this last image to close this session of reviewing the orchestra using Google Images. I hope you have a nice day. See you in the next video.